Hello and welcome to part two of my Win UAE guide. So last time we set up Win UAE uh, with a basic A1200 and we managed to play Worms from a floppy disk. So today we're actually going to be looking at Workbench now and setting up a virtual hard drive with an R Amiga so that we can eventually play even more games and and develop our Amiga even more to do many more other things. So uh, we're going to load up our A1200 configuration that we had last time. So we'll click on load. And then uh, what we'll do is quickly we'll go to the internet first. And there's a couple of things that we need to download. So with the Amiga Forever, uh, pack you should have uh, the workbench 3.1 discs so um, I've organized them in my ADFs folder uh, so I've got workbench 3.1 here so you should have all of these discs here so the workbench storage locale install fonts and extras make sure you've got those first so they're from your Amiga forever pack the next step after doing that is uh, the better WB, the better workbench pack. And another thing that we're going to be downloading as well. So yeah, sorry, back, back to these. Download all the disks. So there's uh, ADF floppy disks here. So click on there uh, to download all of those and click on the one that says 4.0 to 4.3. And you should end up with um, a load of disks that look like these here. Okay, excellent. So next step, uh, we're going to also download uh, the PFS3 file system. Click on there and uh, we need the PFS3 AIO file. Okay, and if we download that, You'll notice that it's made by Tony Willen, who is also the author of WinUAE. Just a little side note there. And then uh, we just need to then take that file and I'm going to put that in my Amiga folder. I'm going to put it under Tools. Okay, we'll save that for later on. Okay, excellent. So, with those files, what we need to do next is go back to our emulator. We need to go to the hardware section, because we're doing something with the hardware uh, of the Amiga. We need CD and hard drives. And there's a lot of options here. Okay, so we've got add a directory or archive, we've got a add a hard file, add a hard drive. Which ones do I choose? Well, for the moment, we're going to be choosing the middle one. Okay, so add hard file. And then we need to focus on the bottom part here. We need to make a new hard drive file image. So similar to our ADFs, we're going to have a file that represents our Amiga hard drive. And for this example, I'm going to set it to, say, 100 megabytes. That should be plenty. Okay, and then uh, on the drop down here, I'm going to choose PFS3. Okay, excellent, that's done. And then um, what we need to do is then click on Create here. Okay, now this asks us, okay, we want to save it. Where shall we save it? I'm going to make a folder called HDF just to keep organized. And I'm going to call this better WB31. Save. Okay, there we go. And you'll see at the top it's been filled in for us there. That's all done. Uh, now the next important thing uh, a lot of people miss is file system. So because we're using the PFS3 file system, we actually need to load in um, a file so it understands what um, the the file system is. So if we click on the little dots here and then go to our tools folder 
and then we need to select our PFS3 AIO custom file that we just downloaded. Excellent, there we go, that's now saved. And then um, what we need to do is then set a device. Now, uh, hard drives are denoted with the H, uh, D, H, and then the first one starts at zero. So, uh, so the device is D, H, zero. Okay, and then that is all set up. So it should be on UAE, that's perfectly fine. And then we click on OK. There we go. We've got our hard drive all set up there. So uh, we need to install Workbench on this. So we need to go to floppy drives. Uh, we'll tick all the floppy drives because we will be using all of them, I think. And then we go to the dots again. Workbench 3.1. First disk we're going to install is our install disk and then click open. We'll just leave it at that one for the moment and then let's boot up our emulator. Now if you've done what I've done you'll probably find that it's acting really slow and that's if I go to F12 that's because I'm on 100 speed. Let's set it to turbo and we should find that it runs a little bit faster. There we go. Okay, so uh, we've got our install disk there, but we've got this uh, HD0NDOS. What does that mean? Um, it's, it's not detected correctly. Well, our, our hard drive hasn't been formatted yet. So if we select it, and then right click, hold down right click, go up to icons and then format disk. We can then format it. So we'll call it system, give it a nice name. Uh, put, we don't need a trash can and then we'll do a quick format. Warning you're going to wipe everything. Yes, it's fine. I haven't put anything on there yet. Do I really want to do it? Yes, let's format it. And then you'll get this message. This is a good indication that the PFS3 thing is working because you'll get a splash screen saying that it's uh, being formatted in that file system. So there we go, that's all nice and done, quick. We've got our system hard drive all formatted. So next step is to go to the install disk Go to the install folder, select your language, my one is English, and then go through the setup. So we need to proceed, install, go go intermediate user, proceed, yes proceed. Uh, and then most important, do you want to install 3.1 on the system partition? Yes, that's what I named it there. So click yes. English, yep, that's fine. I don't need any printers. I need a British layout and I want to proceed. So now it's asking me for the next disk. So it is a case of F12. Uh, we ticked all of our drives here, so what we can do is we can select Workbench. Um, I think it then asks for locale afterwards and then um, maybe the, um, I think storage might be next after that. So hopefully that will detect all of those. Yep, see there we go, there's all our other Copy drives being detected, and then we've just got to wait. Okay, so we've got two Amiga extras now, so I think it's a case of we need to remove the workbench one, put in the extras, uh, and then remove the locale one and put in fonts, and then we should be good. Okay, once that's all done, we should get to this screen. It's now complete. So 
if we click on we just need to remove all the disks so if we do F12 again eject 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 just wait for that eject there we go and then um, click on OK and then we just need to click proceed and there we go we've just booted off of our hard drive and we've got our system if we go in there we're using 3% at the moment and we've got a few things in there so we've got the clock uh, we've got uh, basic things like icon edit we've got our basic calculator in there so all the things that came with uh, the standard workbench so this is looking pretty good at the moment but uh, yeah we're gonna go one further we're gonna install better workbench so next we need to go back to our ADFs better workbench uh, go to first disk now the numbering is at the end so it can look a little bit confusing but our first disk is miscellaneous our second disk is tools our third disk is bonus and disk 4 is docs that's as far as we're going to go for the moment turbo is still on that's good okay and then we'll go to misc and then we should see this install better workbench Let's run that up okay and then we just need to wait until it installs um, all of these so it installs extra few things so as you see so it unzip so it'll handle uh, any zip files that will be handy for later on it comes with a lot of handy tools and it updates a lot of the libraries from the standard 3.1 uh, uh, disks. Okay, so it's asking for our next disks. So uh, we will place, I think, the tools one with uh, what was the next one after that? We did up to docs. So we need disk five, the icons and we need drivers number six there we go click OK okay and we're nearly there now so it's asking one thing um, do you want to patch EMV handler so it does speed up the system but there's just a uh, kind of bug where it just gives a warning message every time we change something in the preferences we just got to ignore it so um, I'm going to choose yes on that and then yeah installation complete please remove all floppies and reboot your Amiga and enjoy goodbye right okay let's just eject all of our disks and then give it a reboot remember it's restart or reset even oh damn I did it reset not restart reset And there we go we've now got our better workbench so we've got the system and if we go in there we've got a tools now so as you can see there's a lot more extra things in here now we've got disk doctor so it's handy for if we're on a real Amiga uh, we've got DW which is a um, direct, uh, file directory thing very handy for moving files around um, our calculator has been upgraded to a scientific one while wow, we um, and yeah it's just a lot of extra handy things so uh, TSGUI that's handy if on a real Amiga if you want to convert it to an actual real disk or vice versa so there's a lot of tools that are here for if you're actually on a real one Amiga um, but there are a lot of handy things as well uh, for us here uh, in the emulation so one thing I like to do as well at the end of it just to finish off we're going to change our screen mode up to uh, 16 colors choose save remember that's our error message that it warned about that's fine to continue there we go okay and then what we need to do is I'm looking for icon set there it is icon set so you've got the standard or glow icons. Let's try out glow icons. 
Okay, it's copying over a load of files. Hopefully this is done soon. Okay, reboot will now take effect. It's rebooting the Amiga, and there we go. And look, some nice fancy uh, icons now for our setup. So this is looking really nice now. And one of the last things we've got to do, uh, it's easy to forget this, um, is to press F12, go to configurations, change the name down here. So we've got A1200, we'll call it hard disk drive, and then click save. So we've now got a new configuration that is with our hard drive and what we've got set up here important that you do that don't forget to do that because uh, then you have to then go through and set up everything again so it's, it's good to uh, remember to save your configurations all the time so there we go click continue and yeah we've got our setup here so that is as far as we're going to go today I know it's quite a lot thank you for following um, and I will see you in the next video. So the next video is all going to be about WHD load. Um, if you don't know what that is at the moment, don't worry. We'll cover it in the next video. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.